Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. So this week we've managed to finish all of our winter wheat drilling before 35 millimeters of rain in the last 48 hours. This was good for efficacy of our pre-emergence herbicides, but we won't want too much more rain as there's a danger the active ingredients could be washed into the seed trench. Thankfully, all the land was rolled, sprayed, before the rain so we won't need to get back on the land for a while. After reporting uh, mustard had reached the critical floret stage cover crops including mustard have started flowering and during this heavy rain cover crop land has continued to walk well. Improving infiltration rates are a key driver for embracing regenerative practices on our heavy land and the 35 millimeters in 48 hours is a good reminder of why we are trialing these practices. On Thursday this week, I attended an event with Soil Capital at fellow regenerative farmer Andrew Randall's farm. Andrew and I have both signed up for uh, carbon certificate trading, and the event was aimed to demonstrate to farm advisors why carbon trading was an opportunity for regenerative farmers. The event started with clarification on what was actually being sold. Soil Capital sells carbon certificates generated by annual improvements in soil carbon levels each season. These are practices like cover cropping, direct drilling, and applying organic fertilizers. Pre-existing soil carbon improvements can't be traded. In fact, unlike America, if we've improved soil carbon, we can't generate historic certificates for those prior improvements. So we can only sell certificates for improvements going forward. One of the questions was, don't I have to get to net zero before I get paid for carbon? Soil Capital explained that their platform generated certificates for farmers who achieved lower emissions than their local average. So you don't have to be net zero, simply generate less emissions than the average. Now, Surely, we all agree that net zero won't be achieved in a single step. A bit like David Brailsford, who built success at the Team Sky cycling team, through small marginal gains, net zero will be achieved through many different emission reduction practices. So, shouldn't society offer farmers an incentive to build on smaller improvements rather than expecting them to suddenly achieve net zero? There is also a moral question. If I trade carbon, am I just giving the emitters the right to pollute, often described as greenwashing? We were reminded that soil capital only inset within the food supply chain and don't allow farm certificates to be used outside the supply chain, i.e. to help the emitters offset. They use this graphic of a Russian doll to help explain the difference. In offsetting, a farmer could sell his carbon certificates to an unrelated organization, helping them offset their dirty emissions in exchange for cash. However, in the case of insetting, a food brand who is already sourcing wheat, for example, would pay an arable farmer for undertaking emission reduction activities on their farms. So, if I trade all my carbon now, I won't be able to meet net zero in the future. So, this was one of the questions raised at the event. A member of the audience gave an example that the dairy cooperative Arla Foods recently announced it will pay its farmers more money for the milk they produce 
if they meet new environmentally sustainable targets. The goal is to help the co-op reach a target of reducing emissions on farms by 30% for each kilo of milk produced by 2030 and reaching carbon net zero by 2050. ARLA members will be able to access the extra payment by earning points based on the cooperative's model of emission reduction activities. However, those who fail to improve their sustainability and collect below the average number of points will see a reduction in the money they are paid for the milk. This generated an interesting discussion with attendees. It was suggested by delegates that farmers should be actively encouraged to trade certificates, thereby a market for fruit brands to purchase inset certificates would be created. Therefore, unlike Arla, they wouldn't have to create bespoke systems for their farmers and suppliers. Revisiting this question of achieving net zero, the point was raised whether if I traded all my carbon now, I might regret that in the future. Fundamentally, these certificates are generated on an annual basis on the activities completed during the previous 12 months. It would be impossible for a buyer to impose standards on a retrospective basis. Referring back to Arla's scheme, for example, this only starts in August 2023. As of this video, that's 10 months in the future. So there's a very low chance that any buyer could impose retrospective rules on farmers. Most delegates thought that carbon certificates would increase in value. Some pointed out regulated certificates were already trading at nearly 70 euros, whilst voluntary certificates like those generated by soil capital are only worth closer to the 30 to 40 euros range. So why sell them now? Because you're going to get more for them in future. In the case of soil capital, only 80% of the certificates generated per year are actually sold, while 20% are retained as a buffer against under delivery or changing practices. If prices in the voluntary market improve, then the farmer gets the benefit of the upside when these certificates are sold at a later date. So I urge arable farmers who are undertaking practices like cover cropping, direct drilling and applying organic fertilisers, register with a carbon trading platform. Honestly, Soil Capital was much easier to use than the RPA uh, website, even though it requires more details. It's like a carbon audit, but if you get a good report, you have the opportunity to sell those certificates and get rewarded for the good you're doing. After all, this channel is all about helping farmers understand and making money from regenerative farming. So give it a go. Thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Click on the little bell to get notifications. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.